We have the most unequal society in the world with 50% youth unemployment and 25 million young people joining the job market in the next 15 years. After 10 years of working with young ethical leaders and observing the power they have of transforming large communities, we firmly believe that they will unlock the future growth of our country and, more importantly, build the kind of society we all want to live in. We train 12 young grade 10s and three educators, including the principal, in ethical values of responsible leadership. They then entrain the entire school. They form teams and take on projects to address the challenges facing the school. And in the process, um, they learn how to solve problems, how to work in teams, how to communicate, the essential skills that will make them successful later in life. And the culture of the school shifts as the principal discovers the power of shared leadership in sustaining the impact in the school. I'd like to tell you a story about a school in Manyona High in the slums of Cape Town. 1,200 enrolled learners, like most dysfunctional schools in South Africa. Of those that get to high school, 60% fail. This school was engulfed in a culture of violence and drugs. Kids were stoned in class. There were weapons in the toilets. The principal invited the police to come and help. They said, sorry, there's nothing we can do. It's over to you. There were Four students killed in 2013. She was thinking of closing the school. And she read, a, and I would ask you, who could fix this problem? How long would it take and how much money would they need? The gang leaders went back to school, joined the groups that had been killing each other, campaigned tirelessly to eliminate violence, drove uniform compliance, started tutoring the lower grades. In 18 months, not a single incident of violence was reported in the school. The graduation rate of the seniors went up to 84%, and they won the Premier's Award for the most improved school. Now, what makes us different? We call it the catalysts that generate a multiplier effect. That's how 12 young sophomores impacting the lives of 1,200 uh, learners and students in the school. Similar programs cost 10 times as much. We have a different approach. We tell these young people that they've got greatness and leadership in them, and they're more like a can of soda where you just got to shake it up and release the cap. <laughs> we, we put young people at the center. We make them the solution, not the problem to be solved. This is the team that is passionate about eliciting greatness to change the trajectory of youth in our country. My name is Yongamela Martinez. I want to be a cardiologist. My name is Mtabse Mkwajana. I want to be a social worker. My name is Akona Mbotin. I want to be an IT specialist. My name is Sisonge Mbovane. I want to be a lawyer. The school has changed. I have changed. And now my door is always open. Seventy-six percent of Columba graduates have successfully transitioned after school to further study or work. One of the most powerful strategies funders can pursue is to invest in the leadership of those most affected by problems in their communities, Stanford Social Innovation Review.